Hi there. Now that the end of year mystery reviews have been posted, I want to give you a really good look inside of them so you can see exactly what's included and also so you can see the difference in the setup between the way they are available on my website and on Teachers Pay Teachers um, because I know some will work different. Um, one way it will work different for some of you and the other way will work different for the rest of you. So I will go through the sixth grade one, um, but they're all set up exactly the same, just different theming. So if you can see on your screen right here, these are the three that are available. Um, as of right now, I don't have plans to create for fifth grade or um, algebra one. Um, these three just took so much time and um, so much energy, and I'm so proud of the way they turned out. Um, so I'm just gonna leave, leave it with these three for right now. So um, we're gonna go through this on my website because it's laid out a little bit easier for you to see. Um, and then we'll go through and um, see what you would get if you purchase through TPT. You get the same stuff, it's just set up differently. So um, if the sixth grade what, uh, review, sorry, when you first log in, there'll be a review and welcome from me. Um, and that is literally the worst freeze frame <laughs> that it could have been on, but so it is. Um, over here on the left side, it's where you have everything broken down. So your teacher info will include um, instructions on how to edit, tips and talking points. Uh, this is broken down for every single skill. There's also video links. Now, if you purchase through my website, you don't really need these links, but they're here for you um, in case you wanna access it somewhere else. You have suggested room decor and props. You don't have to use them, um, just something fun to really bring the theming to life in your room. And then terms of use and creative credits. Uh, in terms of use, just typical, um, you know, when you use this just for your classroom, if you have a teammate who'd like to use it, please direct them to um, purchase their own license. Um, so you'll start with an intro. Every intro, um, every grade level has a video intro. And um, I have the computer volume uh, off, so it doesn't um, interrupt with what I'm saying here. But so they'll have a little intro. It really helps them get engaged, learn exactly what they're doing. Um, and then you have the PDF that you can print. The PDF itself uh, all together is huge. So I broke it down for you by level because some of you, your computers don't really like big files or you might wanna send them to your students and not have to send them everything all together or break it up so much. So the intro is right here by itself and each grade level, again, your intro is different based on the theming and based on what their mission is. And then you also have the option for full PDFs. Um, and again, these are huge, but this would be the full download for all of the levels together. And you can see it's taking quite a long time to load, but I did wanna put it here anyway, just so you have that option. So then you go down to each level. Um, each individual level is based on a strand of Common Core. It starts with its own video intro to really get your students engaged and figure out what they're doing. And then you have your PDF of that level and then your keys. And we'll look through this level here, but they're all set up the same. So the first thing that they get is their mystery. This mystery here is the exact same one that was on the video. So if you don't wanna use the videos, you can just print this, you can show it up on your board. Um, this is their clue page. So for each level, there are different skills. Each completion of each skill will give them a piece to something. Um, sometimes it's a lock, sometimes it's a, something else, um, a cell phone, a ladder, depending on what, what um, grade level you have. And the way they get the piece is they go through each skill. So this skill would have is ratio concepts. So there's a half sheet fact sheet, which you can either give to the students or just keep it displayed up on the board. Then they have a proof page um, and each page is named based on the theming. Um, so this one is proof and interrogation because it's a detective one. Um, the pirate one is um, swab the deck and um, uh, hoist the flag or, or I can't exactly remember because I've done three of these with totally different theming. Um, but basically the first sheet is their practice. Uh, I recommend having them do this in partners or with small groups or have this set up as stations around your room. Uh, you can have a different level and they work through the levels as stations or centers throughout a couple weeks. And then they have a pre assess or I'm sorry, a mini assessment. Um, this is what they would have to complete to your satisfaction in order to get the piece to the clue. So in this case, the piece, as you can see, is part of a cell phone. Now there literally is no prep to this at all, except these pieces, and they do have to be cut. 
Um, I tried to have them be straight lines. If you can see closely, there's little dotted lines so you can cut easy with a paper cutter. Or when a student comes up to you and, say, or, and they do well, you can say, okay, great, cut off a piece. Just have a pair of scissors there, let them cut it off. And then that way you literally have no prep except for making copies. And if you choose to have this set up like stations, then you would have that as well. So they got their ratio concepts piece. They'll take this piece and they'll have their clue and they can start to build it on here. Then they move to the next skill, which is equivalent ratios. Same thing, they have a fact sheet, they have a practice sheet, and then they have their interrogation, which is their mini assessment. If they do well there, oh, they get another piece to the cell phone. And they go through this whole thing, and when they're finished, for sixth grade, they're trying to eliminate suspects. So when they're finished, the cell phone will give them a clue. And what they'll do is they will have their, um, let me see here, where did I go? They will have a copy of the suspect sheet, or again, you can have this up on the board so they can just look at it. And after that level, so let's say after level one ratios and proportional relationships, they'll be able to eliminate someone here. And they can have this little mini sheet of paper, it's called a notebook, just to write down who was eliminated as they go along. So they have to complete the five levels to eliminate five suspects and figure out who is guilty of what the theming tells them um, they're guilty of. So um, it's super easy to navigate here because you just move through the levels, you move to level two, here's your next video, it's right there for you. Um, and again, you also have the option of clicking the links to YouTube. And then at the very end, there's a closing. Um, with this one, I do go through the suspect elimination with them, um, but you could you know, show it little by little or show it all at the end to make sure they followed the clues correctly um, if you wanted. But the others, seventh and eighth grade, don't have something like this because they aren't eliminating suspects. It's set up a little bit differently. And then they, there's a closing PDF if you chose to use it, um, but also the closing video. So um, just as you know, congratulations, you'll receive a code that will lead you to your reward. Now what that means is you have the choice to have there be a final reward. So in sixth grade, once they figure out the suspect, they could have, you could have a box like the escape room boxes and you could have a code, uh, lock on it. Um, you could use either, oh, oh, there it is, just a regular number lock and you can have the code set, they, they get the code from you, they open the box, there's something in there. Homework passes, candy, um, anything. You also could use word locks. Seventh and eighth grade are set up to where when they finish, they work through their clues and they get letters and then they open up the five letter word locks. So if you choose to do that way, um, you would need a word lock with a box, just one. You don't need one per kid or one per group um, because they can just go up, open it when, it's, when they get the final clue, take out whatever's in there, and then close it back up. Um, so that's what it looks like if you purchase through my website. I'm gonna click over here. Um, if you purchase through TPT, there are two options on TPT. There is the same option where it's all themed and stuff like that, or there's the option of just basic. And what I mean by basic is there is none of the theming. So you'll get the lesson details, your standards alignment, which also comes in this one. And then it's just, it's the exact same information, it's just not all themed. And it's, it saves a little bit on ink. So some of you might not want to use the theming, you might not want to have all that going on in your classroom and just use this throughout the year. And then these are called skill practice mini assessment and skill facts. So this is an option too on TPT. It is less expensive because it doesn't have all of the theming and the videos and stuff with it. If you purchase um, this on TPT, it, this version here, it will also come just in a zip file. You'll have the main file, you'll have the main keys. You, all of these papers here, you will have as individual PDFs. And then you'll also have a folder in there that says by level. And by level, it will give you, you know, level one PDF, level one keys, level two PDF, level two keys. So it'll just all come together zipped. Um, so either way, it's available on my website at shoplindsaypro.com or in my TPT store and on the left hand side is a math mystery review link and it brings up all of the themed ones and all of the non-themed ones. 
So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think it's going to be a great way for your kids to review and in the year. Um, and if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask.